let's now define continuity formally in terms of limits. Definition for a function to be continuous at some value C. Three things must occur. The function has to be defined at C. The limit as X approaches C of the function has to exist. And finally, the limit as X approaches C of F of X has to equal f of c. Let's try to nail down this definition by doing three related examples. We'll start relatively simple. We'll give you this rational function and we'll ask, is it continuous at two? You can give that a little thought if you want. The answer is no. It trips at the very first hurdle. What am I writing? F of two, if we plug two in here, we get zero divided by zero. So in particular, we get the division by zero error. This doesn't exist. So we do not satisfy this condition. Let's take this function and modify it a little. This function wasn't defined at two. So we'll create a function that is. And now we'll ask the same question. Is this continuous at two? And the first condition is now satisfied. F of two does exist now. It equals one. What about the limit as X approaches two? Well, remember that if X is approaching to X is not equal to two. So we're in this piece and we're taking the limit of a rational function. If we plug two into this, we get zero divided by zero. Our zero divided by zero trick says that we should factor 
the numerator and the denominator. Well, with the denominators as factored as it's going to get, but the numerator factors like this. The x minus twos cancel. What's left is a polynomial. We can simply take two, plug it in. So this limit does exist. That's the second condition satisfied. But at condition three, we fall down. Because this limit as X approaches to exists, but it does not equal F of two. So our answer is once again, no. This function is not continuous at two. One more example. This example is similar to the one we just did, but we have a different number here, three instead of one. This function is defined at two. The limit as X approaches two still exists. Remember as X approaches two, X doesn't equal two. We're taking the limit of this rational function and we already did the work. That limit is three. And finally, the limit as X approaches two equals f of two. All three conditions are satisfied. So the answer to that question finally is yes. This function is continuous at two.